in your opinion, where might there be some psychological or psychogenic overlay here for patients who either are on or are experiencing a post finasteride you know, impact or syndrome? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what I was sort of alluding to is that it's really incumbent upon us as providers to get a comprehensive view of what's going on with a patient because certainly some of the symptoms they may be experiencing, like low drive, depression, things like that, may come from other reasons besides finasteride, but there is a true condition here, the post finasteride syndrome, and then that can certainly lead to these symptoms and it can really be a phenomenon where it builds upon itself. And so we want to be really careful to try to make sure we are comprehensively taking care of patients. And again, that just sort of goes back to that team approach I was talking about, where what we engage with providers like yourself, we engage with, you know, providers from AASECT, sort of therapists and, and folks who can really comprehensively address some of the mental health concerns that can arise from post-finasteride syndrome.